Here's a, two of my saws that I built. One I finished a couple of weeks ago with the two rows of wires inside. That goes in, in this canister here, six inch high. So I bought one at the dollar store for three, three bucks and 50 cents. It's a 10 inch high. So I built another one a little bit higher with two rows. And I'm gonna try one of them, the big ones in there with my temporary temp bubbler. Okay, so I put the thing together. It's just a, a plug for a pipes, PVC pipes. You can buy at the Home Depot or something like that. Here's a four inch. But it's not fitting on that thing, so I say, oh, I'm gonna buy a glass container so I can see the what happening inside. So this one was a little bit well. <laughs> I couldn't see into the glass because it become cloudy and all wet, so I cannot see anything. So this one is one of my favorite. If it's something happened, it blew up, the cap will go up and then I can just put it back in. It's a rubber, so it doesn't destroy. And the bubbler is gonna be the same thing. Bubbler, I bought some three inch, two inch. So this is one of my bubbler. So I can put the pipe underneath here, it's bubble up on the top. I'm gonna put a, a tubing on the top, and then it's gonna go in my car. So let's start this one. Push a little bit higher there. Okay, let's plug it in. Probably not the best in the world, but uh, at least it's not pulling too much hemp. This is in two liter. I put two uh, tablespoon of uh, baking soda. As you can see, it worked nice. And it's pulling seven amp now. But at least my thing won't uh, overheat. It's a glass and rubber, so it's not gonna melt. So uh, I'm gonna try to find a a glass jar a little bit long so I can put the bubbler in there and if it's too hot underneath the hood but it's gonna survive at least and if it blew up only the rubber will go up so I can put it back in so there you go this is my cell okay I'm gonna take it off unplug it Plug it back, 